Hey everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be watching Heartbreak High Season 1, Episode 1. This was voted by my community on YouTube and on Patreon as the most voted show for what I should watch next. Uh, this won both polls on both platforms of mine. I have no idea what this show is about. It was just requested a lot from me. I haven't seen a trailer. I don't know what it's about. I don't know any of the cast. Nothing. I am going to, into this completely blind, so it's going to be a completely fresh experience for me. I'm going to be having all of these full uncut reactions on my Patreon, so if you do not already follow me on Patreon, you should go do that, and you will see the full uncut reactions of every single episode for this show on there, as well as some other things that aren't on YouTube and anything else that I watch as well. So before I get into it, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Both those things help me out a lot. Uh, follow my Twitter because I post whenever I upload and let's get into episode one. This one's called Map Bitch, which whatever the hell that means, I guess we're gonna figure it out. Let's do this. It was all about who hooked up with who in our year and what they did. Nobody knew about it. It was just me and Harper. Until everyone did, is that what we're going with? With like a burn book situation, Mean girl style? Hello. And some more hookups we hoped would come to pass. Okay. <laughs> he looks sexy with his hair pushed back. <laughs> I get very like 90s or early 2000s vibes from this and I like it a lot. Even just like with the title. Nice car, send a link. What? Why are they all wearing the same thing? Why were they all in like tuxes and weird like straw hat fedoras? <laughs> you actually gonna speak to him this year? He looks like a um, an Easter Island head, kind of. His jawline and just everything is so structured on his face. He's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I just it's just something I noticed. <laughs> yeah, now everyone's seeing this map, okay. So is this what's gonna cause all this like chaos or something? It's mostly kids from Maui level. It must be someone that we know. This is literally like one of the plots of Mean Girls, literally. Oh my god, her hair. She looks cool as fuck. Pack it up, Eleven. Whoever she is, I like her already. The buzz cut, the blonde, the the style, loving it. I am a woke woman. Uh. Reputation is everything, and this map has jeopardized your reputations and the reputation of our school. Hartley High prides itself on being a safe environment. <laughs> but clearly this is a wake up call that we are not doing enough. Oh, and we will find out who did this. She sounds like that Jerry and Terry, if anyone's seen Soul, that one guy that was very like anal about the counts or whatever. She sounds like that voice. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> How can you know that Alyssa scissored Nina but not know if they're using contraception? I. Don't think you have to use contraception when you scissor someone, miss. I'd say that's a very dangerous assumption, actually, Amaru. <laughs> what do we have to do to... You call this the incest map. I'm assuming that's just a play on words and not the actual... Play on words. <laughs> okay, good. Now get out of my office before I do expel you by the count of three. One, two, three! Okay, I like the principal so far. She's fun. Wait, hello. Didn't you hear me? I took the full for you. I didn't ask you to do that. Yeah, shut up. You're my best mate. Not what? anymore. Dude, what are you talking about? Fuck off. Oh, she's the one that wrote on the wall with her. I didn't even realize that at first. I'm fucking What's it? Why? Why did it happen? <laughs> Girl, you gotta, you're in a fight. You gotta fight back. You can't just speak. That is disgusting. Oh yep, my god. Yep, 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 yep. Wash your face off right now, miss. Oi, Sash. I don't understand why Harper is so, like, against her right now, though. You broke people up. You outed people. And now all of that work that Missy and I did to stay friends after we broke up, it, that's fucked. It doesn't mean anything now. Harper because... did the map too. Look, I hope you're okay, but that map is real dog, man. And. I just think you need to do some work on yourself, like away from us. On the on one hand, she didn't really expect anybody to see it, I guess. On the other hand though, 
You wrote it on a wall at a school. Yes, it might be in an abandoned stairwell, but you didn't think anyone was going to see it and then you would get found out about it because that's what's happening right now. So I can't really feel bad for her, but I'm like very curious as to why Harper is super against her right now when she also did it. And neither of them are the cause for people finding out about it, I don't think. Amory Wadia, Harper McLean, Sasha Sol. Missy Baker. Okay, I guess this is our introduction to everybody. Dustin Reed. That bitch. That bitch. Oh, okay, she's the map bitch. Okay, I get the episode title now. <laughs> I was like, what does that even mean? How is stereo, bro? <laughs> the two shaved ones like each other. Clear these tables to the side, please. And lift them, don't scrape them along the floor. <laughs> now, I want you to choose three other people start shaking hands with. Shaking, shake, good, you know how to shake. Shaking, and... Oh, she has literally public enemy number one right now. You all have genital warts. <laughs> I, I thought it was crabs. Right, crabs, thank you. <laughs> Did we hook up? No. Yeah, I didn't think so, but but it says here that... You just anything, Dusty. Yeah, there's like a... It's like a gold line. He looks like Tyler Hoshin, or, or however you say his name, from Teen Wolf. That's who he looks like. Just like with extra hair, you know? Hey. You okay? Fuck right off. They're gonna become a thing by the end of the season. I'm calling it right now. What is this girl's deal? I need to like figure it out. Is this your 13th reason? What? <laughs> like, oh my what god. Do you yourself? Oh. I love when toxic bitches enter their floppy arrow. Hey, no, you can't say that. That's really mean. You know, I want to like this person, but almost all of their dialogue is cringy so far, and I hope that changes. <laughs> Can we just give it a go? Jojo. Give it a go, Jojo. <laughs> Give it a go, Jojo. You'll never know. What is this principle on, and where can I get some? <laughs> Psycho map, bitch! <laughs> oh. oh. This girl is getting herself into all sorts of trouble. Everyone finds out the map was her, graffiti, defacing the school property, a fight, vandalism. She's just like checking off all the boxes right now. No offense to the school uniform, but that is the dorkiest little outfit I've ever seen. The hat just just ruins it for me. You around tonight, eh? <laughs> Why? The boys are coming over to watch the game is all. Mm, okay, and you want me to not be around? <laughs> he always assumes the worst. <laughs> they! <laughs> they always assume the worst. Not the misgender horn. Them. They. It, it doesn't make any sense. You know you're not two people, right? And besides, it breaks all the rules of grammar anyway. Well, lucky um, I don't think he, this guy understands how grammar works because it can be used as a singular and a plural. So, you know, the thing is, is like, there's so many people that act like it's the biggest fucking deal in the world. Those are the types of people where you just know they had the easiest fucking life and they're just looking for something to complain about. Well, I'm grateful for antibiotics because I have a really bad UTI. <laughs> can I have UTI? No. no, you can't. <clears throat> I can't listen to this song without thinking about white chicks. It's forever ingrained in my head that this song is now associated with white chicks. Can I stay the night? I'm actually not letting guests stay over at the moment. It wasn't an issue last week. Yeah, that's before you took off and stole my shit. Yeah, you should probably go. That's fine, Jacob. Your room smells like cum socks and corn chip farts anyway. <laughs> Step one, change your look. Once you go there- Oh no, come. don't do the the straight across bangs thing. You are going to ruin your hair, girl. I'm once again asking you to homeschool me. And I'm once again telling you no. How is she not expelled from the school already? Because the principal gave her a warning and then she got into a fight and also threw a rock to in the school's window. Wouldn't that be like two causes for expulsion? You know what I mean? I'll do a deal on Thursdays, you know? Half price ketamine with any family meal combo. <clears throat> are you serious? 
No. Okay, the Ashe has a sense of humour. Oi, if anyone asks, I go to Bruno's, yeah? You, um, go on cemetery tonight? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. See you there. See ya. Do you want me to fix that for you? Please. <laughs> Why did Harper punch you in the face? I don't really know. We must have done something. We went to a music festival last week, and after that, she just went ghost. So, what happened at this music festival? That's my question. I do like Darren as a character already. I'm getting another drink. Did you get into a fight? Their dialogue is getting a lot better. The, the first couple of lines that they had, I was just like not into it. I feel like everyone is staring at me. Um... No, nah, they're staring at me. So he's gonna be the love interest this season? Or maybe they'll just like end up being best friends or something? I like this show so far. It's very like lighthearted compared to what I just watched on a certain other show. <laughs> this is nice. I like this. It's a change of pace. <laughs> you probably wouldn't know because it's actually not really taught in public schools very much. Which it, 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 I've seen heaps of vaginas. Nice. Sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. I totally believe you. I just assumed on account of the fact that you were lying about seeing mine that you were also lying about seeing others too. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I read a fuck I like you? That was amazing. I have never seen her so triggered before. <laughs> Thanks, Sasha. Why are you still in school? You repeated. Yeah. You're 18. Why don't you just drop out? I mean, you are clearly doing okay for yourself. I've got my reasons. Hmm. I think the that kid, I don't know his name yet, but he's like shaved like that. He is the one that I want to know the most about. He's the most interesting to me so far. I used to like you, but like, like way back when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. so, so stupid, but I really didn't mean anything. When you look at me. He gives me like fuckboy vibes. I don't know if I'm fully liking him. If I had to guess, no reason for me to guess this. He's gonna end up being an asshole and that new kid is gonna be the one that she actually wants to go for at the end because he's the good guy that actually likes her. That's just total guess, but I like throwing out uh, predictions like that. What happened? We were flying up until the festival. <laughs> can, we, can we get a full answer? We probably will by the end of the episode. I just wanna move on. And I don't want you in my life anymore. Something like happened to her at this festival and then Emery just kind of like ignored her trying to talk to her about it or something and then just like left her alone. I don't know. Hey! What the bloody hell are you doing? Hey, Dad. Wait, what? That's his dad? I thought the other guy was their dad. Or wait, am I thinking of the same person? I couldn't even, I don't know. I'll be fine. I don't know about him. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trusting it. Wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Was that like a new board that is being written or is that just like telling us without showing us like what happened between them that night? Maybe? I don't know. I guess we're gonna see if there's another one later on in the season. Okay, well, we didn't get the answer of what happened at this festival thing, but I'm assuming what I predicted, which is like, maybe something happened to her, Amari wasn't hearing her out, and then, cause there was like that one little clip where she was just like, uh, whatever, or something, and then walked away from her. When, what's her name with the, the wig in the flashback was clearly upset, no, the shaved head one now. I can't remember her name. The only two names I know right now are Amari, or is it Emily? Am I saying the wrong name? <laughs> okay, the only one name I know is Darren right now. I don't remember anyone else's name, but I'll, I'll learn all of them eventually. Um, I like this so far. It's fun. It's lighthearted. It's like semi-drama, also com comedic at the same time. It kind of reminds me of Do Revenge, which I just watched on Netflix. It's got that like nostalgic feel to it if you like grew up in early 2000s or like late 90s. And I like it a lot so far. So I'm very happy that this was suggested to me. And I'm curious to know like what the story is going to be for the rest of the season. I can't tell yet what the full plot of uh, plot is unless it's just like uh, just a full like coming of age story and then we're also eventually obviously going to find out what happened at this festival thing and then 
see what happens with her and that other girl and if they make up, which they probably will eventually. Yeah, but so far I like it. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Both those things help me out a lot. And follow me on Patreon because I'm going to post every single full uncut reaction to this season as well as anything else that I watch on there as well as stuff that I do not watch on YouTube. It will be on there as well. I put sex education videos up recently as well, uh, which will not be out on YouTube. So consider supporting me on that and I will see you on episode two. Bye.